Hi everyone, it's Susan from Buttsby's, and today I came out to my yard to put out some dry pollen. It's January, I believe, 13th or so, and the girls are getting ready to ramp up. And look here, look what I got blooming. And I have bees on it and hopefully there's more where I just can't see it. So this is another yard. This one's much busier. The other one was only like maybe 10 hives. This one's much busier. Everyone's out looking for pollen and whatever might be blooming. And I saw that the, what I used to call buttercups, anyway, they are. So I am putting out, I just got stung in my back. Um, I'm putting out dry pollen and checking on the pollen patties that I do have in there. So this has only been out a few minutes, maybe five minutes. Next few days is supposed to be really nice. And so now I'm gonna check on some pollen patties and then replace pollen patties because you can't always assume that just because you put out a ton of dry that the little girls that you have are gonna make it out there. Their population is much smaller than the bigger girls and to bump up their pollen you make sure you put the pollen patty on the hive if I was just a small keeper of maybe you know five hives I don't know that I would feed like this because there's no real need I would make sure their stores are there make sure no one's starving and allow spring to come in the bloom but because I'm queen rearing this extra bump is going to make sure that I have the populations I need in those builders so that I can have queens started in February and ready by April. That's how it should be. That's a nice pollen patty. They're all up on it. They're nice and calm. And I'm not feeding any syrup or sugars. I left them stores. I'm not gonna open feed sugar this year or syrup. And only the smalls are gonna get extra syrup in the beginning. Again, I don't think a small beekeeper needs to practice what some of the larger queen rearers or commercial beekeepers have to do. It's nice to watch their practices and then, you know, you don't need 10,000 times the amount of bees that you have right now only to, you know, have them swarm out because that's what will happen. These populations will be put to good use both in nukes and builders in my yard. They're pretty, the girls are pretty busy. I see them out and about. I don't see any major pollen going in. Every once in a while you get a little full basket, but now that I put out the dry, they should be pulling it in. This is a little bit bigger hive. And it's 55 degrees right now, so you can open them for a little bit. I used to have hives when I lived in northern Maine. Any time you're out in your shirt sleeves, you can open up that hive. Make it as brief as possible. They say it takes at least a day. One study I read, a day to re-regulate their temperature. Uh, 
I don't doubt that. But the next few days here in the deep south, we're supposed to get up to 60 and it'll be low in the 40s. So that's why I'm leaving Pat pollen out for them because so, they should be flying to start doing their best. So I've been putting pollen patties on these girls. If you're in the north, you can't put a pollen patty on until they can fly. So if you're in the deep of winter, don't put that pollen on them until they can fly because it's a solid and they need to defecate. You don't want to encourage any dysentery. And again, they got the last remnants of their last pollen patty. They're doing great. And they're going to get another one. Okay. So I've been keeping my pollen patties fairly small. Obviously they don't always eat everything. But you want to give it to them so that they can consume it. No sense wasting anything. Everybody seems to be looking good. It's inevitable that you have some starvers. Maybe not inevitable, but it, it's not. Oh, I got quite a team behind me. Yeah, they were lining up behind me, waiting for me to get in. Again, it's in the 50s and tomorrow's supposed to be in the 60s. But we have these ups and downs in January. And it's important to have your pollen on them because of the drones being laid. And drones are big uh, consumers of stores, both in the caring of the larvae and then once they get become emerged. But definitely now, if you want them to lay drones, if they have drone comb, one, and two, if they have the stores, it's one of the first things they'll start. And you want that because you can't queen, queen rear until you got some drones. No sense in it. So be sure to take care of your pollen needs. Be sure your bees can fly if you are feeding them pollen. If you're in high beetle country, make sure there's not too much on them. I did see some high beetle being drug out as dead, which is always nice to see. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. I appreciate you watching so, so very much. And until next time, happy beekeeping!